I've got some Jenny O Italian style ground turkey I'm gonna cook in here. I have my cauliflower that I chopped up and I'm gonna boil because I'm gonna make it into cauliflower mashed potatoes. And we are gonna make an amazing shepherd's guys, pie. When I used to make uh, my shepherd's pie, I use, of course, you know, uh, the ground meat, regular mashed potatoes, uh, corn, peas, and um, sometimes, let me see, corn, peas, what else did I put in there? I guess that was it, corn and peas, right? So anyway, um, but today, since we're doing it keto, and I'm using the ground turkey, and for my mashed potatoes, I've got, I showed you the cauliflower I'm over there cooking, but I am gonna incorporate some mushrooms and green beans in mine, which are keto friendly, and this is what's gonna go in mine. So I'm basically gonna stay to the same, you know, type of meal, but I'm adding vegetables that are more keto friendly, because as you know, uh, corn nor peas are good for keto because they contain a lot of sugar content in them which I don't like because I love peas and I love corn and I haven't had them either one in probably over a year at least. So I'm going to get this cut up. We're going to get those uh, the meat cooked. We're going to get it all incorporated together and yes we're still going to add cheese to ours. I've got regular sharp cheddar cheese that's going to go in there and it is going to be delicious you guys. I'm so excited. Waiting for the meat and the cauliflower to cook. I went ahead and cut up some of this um, seedless cucumber that I have and I'm going to stick it in this bowl here. I'm going to go ahead and cut up the other side of it as well because I bought a new one today so I'm going to go ahead and use, finish using this one. Cucumbers here. I have one of those on the vine tomatoes. Let me rinse this off. Okay. I'm gonna cut this. cucumber in there. That, I am going to add a little bit of avocado. Let's go ahead and get that peeling off of there. That's spread all around in there. And I've got some parsley that I took out of my little bin outside that I grow myself. Can't believe I've still got some parsley. With this heat, but it, I think it survived because it's cooking underneath the basil, or cooking, <laughs> growing underneath the basil, and the basil's big, so it's shading it. Now, since I did put avocado in there, we're going to change up my dressing a little bit. I usually do the vinegar olive oil in there. But with the avocado, I'm going to do olive oil and lemon juice because the lemon juice is going to keep the avocado from turning brown. And I don't know if you've used olive oil and uh, lemon. Oh, man, it's delicious. All right, so we got that in there. Let's add a little bit of EVOO. There we go. To that, we're going to add a little bit of salt. Some cracked pepper. And voila, look at that. 
I'm not going to stir it right now because I'm not going to be eating it right now. So I'm going to leave it just like this to sit. And then when I'm ready to eat is when I will stir it. All right, let me get over here and check everything cooking over here. And I'll be right back with you guys. I'm going to cook the shepherd's pie in. Let me go ahead and set my oven to 350 as well. Let's go ahead and put this ground turkey in here. This will be a pretty thick shepherd's pie. That's how I like them. I don't like them just thin. I want them a little thick. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that same pan. And I'm going to add, let's see. I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of butter to that. We're gonna let that butter melt down a little bit and then we're gonna throw in these mushrooms, okay? And we're gonna saute those mushrooms up in that what butter. I used here, I told you it was the Jenny O, the ground turkey, and it is one pound. So I use one pound and one head of cauliflower is what I'm using. Okay, let's go ahead and add those mushrooms. Y'all, you know, you can't go wrong adding buttery sauteed mushrooms instead of corn or peas, you know this is going to be delicious right here. That, look at that. That, that. Oh man, those mushrooms just soak up that butter. Mm. Okay, and to that, we're going to just salt over the top. And of course, some ground pepper. so good in here you guys oh man and you can see over here this is still boiling I'm just trying to get it soft enough to where I can mash them they're getting there they're getting there okay so let's go ahead and let these cook and we're gonna take those out and get those mashed Drain the water out of here I put two tablespoons of butter in here normally I also put sour cream, but I'm staying away from, I'm trying to stay away from some of that stuff as well. Some of, I don't want to eat as much dairy, but I'm still going to have my butter and a little bit of the sharp cheddar cheese, but I didn't buy cream cheese and I didn't buy sour cream this week. So let me go ahead and get this all mixed up and I'll be right back. You so guys. I've got the meat here ready. I'm going to put a little bit of green beans in here. Then we're going to add a little bit of mushrooms. And I'm adding the juice with the mushrooms because I like that juice at the bottom. Okay. Then we're gonna add some more green beans. Might as well finish up the can. All right, now we're gonna add the cauliflower mash right on top. Just like that. Kind of smooth it out. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. Now we're gonna add our sharp cheddar cheese to the top. Guys, there it is. It is ready for the oven. And I'm going to put a little bit of pepper over the top. All 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the oven and then I'm gonna bring you back when it's ready. Right, I have it in the oven baking for about 20 minutes and I just turned it over to broil, so I'm gonna watch it, but look how good that looks, you guys. I'm gonna broil it probably about two minutes. I don't wanna burn it, but I want it to get a little bit crunchy and crispy guys, on top. I left it in under the broiler for about two and a half minutes. Look how good that looks. Now we're just gonna let it sit there to cool. We'll probably have a little bit of it later, but it is way, way, way too hot right now to even try. So when it's time, I'll let you know.